Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and I'm also the owner of Carter Law Firm in Phoenix. And I got an interesting question this week about copyright and music CDs. So there was an article, um, a woman wrote about the eight things you don't need to keep, eight things you can get rid of. And one of the things she recommended was get rid of your CDs, burn a copy uh, to your hard drive and then chuck the physical object because uh, for most of us we don't actually use the physical CD anymore anyway. So uh, the question was kicked to me of, well, is that legal under the copyright law? So the purpose of the copyright law is to protect artists' rights in their work so that they get properly compensated for them. Uh, so they have the exclusive rights to decide where their work is sold, performed, displayed, etc. So in terms of music, um, that's why you have to buy songs and albums. You can't legally um, download them um, for free off the internet unless the artist puts them out there for free. And it's why it's actually illegal to burn copies of your friend's CDs um, instead of buying the album yourself. Now, if you have purchased, legally purchased a CD for yourself, can you make a copy, you know, can you burn the music into your hard drive? Mm, yeah. In most cases, that's probably fine. Um, in general, under a copyright law, at least in terms of software, you can make an archival copy of your software in case something happens to the CD. So in terms of music, that seems like that would be fine too. Now, is it okay to you to use your archival copy and chuck the original? I think on one level it is a matter of prerogative. You do own the physical CD, so if you choose to throw it away or turn it into a wind chime or a coaster, well that's your choice. You've already purchased the music rights, so as long as you're not you know, burning illegal copies for other people or doing illegal performances, you're just listening to it for your own personal enjoyment in your home, car, iTunes, whatever, you're probably fine. Um, the question, the problem is if you start looking like somebody who's making illegal copies, like if you purchase a book, it's your choice whether you keep it or get rid of it and you can get rid of it by, you know, selling it, giving it away or throwing it away. But in that case, you don't keep, you don't make a photocopy for yourself when you get rid of the book, because once you've done that, you've made an illegal copy. So if you're someone who wants to download, you know, or burn your CDs into your iTunes or your hard drive and then get rid of the physical CD, you're probably okay, especially if you're not selling it or giving the physical CD away to somebody um, who should be buying a copy for themselves. So, you know, I'm somebody who actually has taken this advice. I have gotten rid of all of my jewel cases with few exceptions. And there probably will come a day soon when I chuck out the uh, physical CDs of a lot of my albums. Um, but because I don't have the jewel cases anymore, I probably can't donate them anyway. So I probably will just throw them away. Um, I won't sell them because I don't want to open myself up to um, an accusation of copyright infringement. So that's my two cents. If you want to talk to, if you want specific information about what you should do with your music collection, go talk to an attorney. Um, but one thing to remember when it comes to copyright infringement, the only person who can come after you is the copyright holder. So if they don't know what you did or they don't care, um, you're never going to get in trouble. I'm not advocating breaking the law, but I'm telling you that's how the system works. So I hope this has been helpful and I will catch up with you later. Take care.